Appreciate it. What we got? Jin? Hell yeah. I uh, really would have liked to invade. Try to get, try to encourage them to invade next time. Try to poke with your crit. With that, yeah. Basically, you're trying to push if you can, and you're gonna try to poke whenever your crit's up. So right here, you're looking for a crit poke. Uh, I would definitely look for Lux over and over again with my crit if I were you playing Jin. Because she's super fucking squish. Oh no. Heal. Nothing to do about that. Except saying the team. So 20 doesn't come down. I thought she might consider it. She's gonna do red and come down, so you should be getting pretty excited here for this. I don't know if she's gonna get caught. Anyway. Rough start to this game so far. Uh, your Morgana essentially suicides. Ooh. Let's see you're all in here. Very nice try. I like that attempt a lot. Um, so far, you really haven't played this lane that bad other than the fact that um, the pushing. That's what I, I really want to be pushing in most all lanes. Just FYI. I say it every fucking... ADC stream and let's go back and see how you approached it because pushing is what like whoever's pushing is normally weak, or is normally winning in solo queue bot lane and this isn't a lane that you necessarily lose so when we come into lane Yeah, like there, we don't use the crit on the minions. We take a point in our Q, but we don't use it early. Notice how you're just kind of floating with it. The Q needs to be bounced on the back line as opposed to the front. Um, well, I, I agree that more suicides, but you don't push early, which is costly, I think, for us. Uh, I would much rather us, um, and, you know, ping it and hope he does. But you really want to just step into this lane. Like, they kind of beat you to it. But, like, as soon as you come in, you don't Q right away. And that kind of tilts me a little bit. Like, Q here. And just get this lane rolling. See what I mean? Notice how all this time spent, like, we never we never go for it and actually push in, even though we can keep up. Like, Lux isn't helping push either. Most low elo players, uh, this is kind of like a weak spot for them, is that they won't push. So, like, you're sort of pushing, but you're not committing to pushing. Which, of course, is why you die. Ready? Here it comes. Like clockwork. They hit level 2. They all in. Morgana's a moron, but you didn't really help the situation either because you didn't push the lane see what I mean so this is why I say like bot lane is normally boiled down to and low elo whoever's pushing is winning like it's just it's that in the early levels it's that easy dude that's that's all it is so now you're gonna be on the back foot the whole lane phase Let's get to where we were. You're making some decent trades. Like I said, your flash all in attempt was pretty smooth. I liked it. It just doesn't go, it doesn't work your way. They back, uh, just push here, dude. That's a big mistake. Why are we backing here? There's no danger here for us. Uh, they had just backed. We have a... We have no vision, yes. However, we know, uh, based on this game, 
that Kha'Zix is not ganking early often. And even if he is ganking you, um, we could definitely just sit here in the minions and tank it out, right? So we shove this in, we back into the brush, and we should be straight. So I push that all the way in next time. You just basically gave them all that farm. What's up, Paulus? Get a nice bind on the Draven, but there's no follow-up. Ah, uh, you're trading poorly here. I get that your support's shit, but you shouldn't be here. Just Jack, thank you, buddy. Welcome to Nisi Sub Train, my friend. Thank you so much. Drop sub hype drink one. Yeah, see, you're trading in this, but you should be kiting back, and you let the minions close space, and yeah, there's just no, there's no way to re rebuttal here. Nice. So you get a nice little kill. You have heal to work with. Wonderful. So we get the lead. Now we push it. Cool. Push this all the way in. We back. I'm assuming we're going Ghost Blade, which we are. Cool. It definitely overplayed the trade under the turret there. Uh, we really should avoid getting hit by that shit. Draven's going crazy on you. You should feel great about it, though. Because you have level 6. So if you get them low, you're going to be able to all in. With your ult. The way you should be playing the trades is you're just going to be... Uh, well... You're going to hope that they overcommit a little bit and then ult. No, that's not enough overcommit there. Morgana sucks. Wave's pushing to you. Just thin the wave out here and uh, keep your ult. You don't waste it. Unless you have a gank coming, which you don't. So, just wait. There's going to be better opportunities. It's two minute cooldown. It's a long cooldown. Again, we're standing too close to the turret. Yeah, we're, we're standing cl too close to the front of the turret, I mean. With this many minions pushing. Same rules apply. It's always worth giving up a couple minions... <laughs> when the when the wave's pushing to us like this, it's always worth giving up a couple minions over getting chunked down like this. Just give up a couple, or this will happen. You could have got all this farm free of charge, but as a result um, of kind of greeting on that one minion, you miss all the XP and all the farm that you would have inevitably got. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to be patient when your support's sucking dick. Just gargling the penis. I know it's hard. But you gotta believe me when I say that it's fucking... It's worth, like, just giving the minion up. But ease... Well, we haven't really been in, like, much of a siege position yet. Because that's pretty much all I'm doing. With e uh, wait, why are we standing here? What are we doing? You don't clear that shit. And you have a wave pushing. You don't need to clear that right now. This is weird from you. Um, the wave is pushing. You have minions. So, like, I don't know why we're fighting for a pink ward. Or, oh, you're fighting to put ward down? Okay, so you put the ward down. But then you, like, stay? Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. You're, like, dancing around. But you need to be in lane. Honestly, with the wave pushing, though, there's not much to see at the moment. To be honest. Ah, uh, there was just... Kind of a crappy all-in. Weird all-in, too. Because, um, your ult was so close to being up. Uh, I guess it's not that close to being up, or is it? Yeah, it, is, it will be up. Yeah, this is a weird moment. Um, 
because your ult is close to being up. It's it, it, you've got 15 on your ult. You have cooldowns that you're waiting on. Like, dude, there's better times here. I like the first one. This one I don't like as much. Subscribe. Wall for the thank you. Drop sub hype train for please. Dude, we're getting close to that two or that 475, man. Uh, the traps you didn't really put many down there. Well, you haven't you haven't had an opportunity to like siege with them because your support's kind of crappy. But support kind of crappy or not, we could have definitely played a lot of the situations better. Starting mainly with the pushing, uh, the all-in when we had our ult just about ready to come up was very very silly, and now we don't have flash because of that. It'd be pretty funny if he died somehow. Alt up? Not yet. Yeah, that was pretty pretty silly. Be it would have been hilarious if he lost. Why did we take all that poke? I suppose Lux is pretty hard to get away from. At least you didn't get full binded there. Alright. <clears throat> this ult is just bad. Yeah, this is just a bad ult. That's all there is to that. Uh, you're ulting in front of the turret for some reason. You're better off ulting here, behind, if you're gonna do that to wave clear. You're pinging for ganks, but like, you don't really have anything to follow up with right now because you just burned your ult. I don't know about that. Uh, this is really goofy. No, our teleport's down. Yeah, this is definitely some low elo shit. If I've ever seen it. Yeah, so far, D-Stack, this game has been kind of a... Kind of a wash. You got kind of a goofy, like, ARAM thing going on in the bot lane. Um, but it definitely, start, it definitely starts back here, dude. Honestly. I, I'm staring at the end, I just feel, I can't help but feel like it starts back here. There's not much we could have done if we don't, if we don't, I'm going to fucking hammer on this. If we don't get charge of the lane in low elo at the fucking bot lane and we're playing ADC and bronze, silver, gold. If we don't come into the lane with the intent to push it, push the lane, push the lane. Everyone's playing these fucking, these fucking champs. These like a mobile, cha like Draven in my opinion, sort of a mobile. Misfortune, Jinx, push the lane. Just push the lane, get control of the lane, and stop playing on the back foot every game. Low elo guys, I hate watching no one, and it happened, it seems to happen every time that I look at these fucking bot lane replays. The biggest mistakes that I see, comes in the lane, saves some autos here for some reason, fucking the times that you're stuttering not autoing you auto the other creep so like watch here you're dancing around 
Auto that creep, then auto that creep, then auto that creep. Cue the wave, push the wave. A little urgency, people. A little urgency will go a long way in these lanes. Push, push, push. I don't care if Draven Lux can somehow beat Jin Morgana early if if both lanes are pushing. You know what I see every time I do these replays down here is I see both sides not pushing. One side just barely gets level two over the other. And then we all act surprised when we're when our support gets fucking murdered because he's an idiot. What if the jungler comes? Good question. Well, I'm going to assume that Kha'Zix is not going to show up anytime soon. But let's just say that it's an early game jungler like Lee Sin. When we're pushing, we need to, when, it, when we get the siege wave, the first siege wave, which this is not it, it's going to be the third wave. When we get the siege wave, we're going to put a ward here as an ADC or put a ward here as an ADC and assume that our support's going to cover the other side. We're just ping it and hope that he does. But, it, you know, sometimes you're going to have unlucky situations where the jungler's going to come down early. Sometimes you're going to have situations where the jungler's going to come down so early because it's low elo, he's just going to come down level two and suicide. Facts. Facts. That actually happens. So when we're sitting here, not taking charge of the lane, and we start getting pushed around, why does that happen? Perfect examples right here. Here comes the level two. We weren't equipped for it. We didn't try to answer it right away. And guess what? We get raped because of it. Support gets raped because of it. Do you really want to wait and see what happens when you when the other lane gets level two over you? No. Time and time again. I see this all the time. Now, when I play bot lane against fucking Cutie Pie and I'm playing Lucian, or I'm playing against Lucian, I'm playing Ezreal, and Lucian comes into lane and just pushes, and I'm playing Ezreal with a Nami, and it's like uh, fucking Lucian Brand or some silly shit like that, then you go, ah, we're gonna, you know, and they're both pushing, and they get level two, and shit on you, it's like, oh, I couldn't really push back into that. The only way to really play this is to just passively farm for now. That's one thing. It's another thing to be in low elo and to be playing against fucking Tolkien and easy to destroy the bronze silver heroes of League of Legends and to somehow not think that we are, we are going to be, like, we are better than them. Like, why are we going in the lane playing the lane like we are worse than our lane opponents. I don't know why the axes are still spinning. But why are we, like, why are we allowing the lane to be just decided off of a fucking coin flip? Drives me crazy. Then from there, okay, let's just say I want to play like a bitch. Great. I played like a bitch. I passively, you know, I, I, I don't want to push, whatever. Fine. I'm on board with this. But you still got to clean some things up. I'll give you a perfect example. You make a nice little attempt of an all-in. Whatever happens, happens. You back poorly. This makes no sense. We back when there's a wave right here and we're free to push it and there's no threat going on. Kha'Zix was just top. We see him top. We see our mid lane, mid lane Garen. We see these things and we're still not pushing and getting this farm and punishing this bot lane from backing. All right. So that's one. Let's skip ahead to six minutes. Because you wanted me to focus on lane. So you get a nice little kill. Actually, no, it was back before that. It was like at five something. Here it is. You do it here where you take a really sloppy trade. Minions are pushing to you and you're still like standing too close. You're going to do it in a moment. You got all these minions here. All these minions here. You see all that shit? Look at that trade. The only reason this works out is because they overplay it a little bit. But you take that trade. When there's a huge wave of minions coming, 
When there's a huge wave of minions coming, you need to sit back and don't take those trades. Patiently wait for the wave to thin, then come forward. So let's skip ahead now to some other shit before we call this case closed. We did it a lot in lane phase two. That wasn't the only time that we made that move or that mistake. The team's chasing. Don't walk past minions. Don't eat. Okay. I'm glad you did that. Thanks, Trails. I may not be able to get to yours today, though. I'll put it in the queue for tomorrow for the But thank you. So you got three bottom. It's just Draven there. Um, we're level 10. Subscribe. Thanks, Lord. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. The tab is here. This is crazy, man, how many uh, subs we're getting. Thank you so much, guys. So it's just Draven bottom. Why are we ulting? We ulting to get a slow? What's the follow-up gonna be? A Morgana? Who's level 8? And a Nar? Nah, fam. That's not happening. That's a level 12 Garen. You're not getting that kill. Prove me wrong. That's right. Cause I fucking know it! Damn it! Uh, we need to go to bot lane now. We need to go to bot lane now. We, we don't need to be mid anymore. We need to accumulate XP, low elo, accumulate XP. Go bot lane now. Oh no. No, 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 the Kha'Zix is fed. Super sick Kha'Zix, dude. Kha'Zix. Wow, that is some serious ribbon. Juked you there. This happens, whatevs. You don't have all you stand too close. Yeah, and they're out of control now. Alright. D stack, my dude. Let's go into lanes. I'm a life coach, dude. That's what it is. I'm I'm a I'm I'm beyond a lead coach, dude. I'm a life coach. If you don't play this game, you're gonna play like you're better than people, dude. You're gonna play like you're better. Okay? It starts from level one. Take the early game seriously. Play like you're better. Push lanes. Get advantages. Play like you're better. You're going to learn your limits. Right now, you're playing like a sissy man. And as a result, you allow these guys to get that level 2 lead over you and and bully you around and push your butts in and you just get punished all game. You should be crushing. You should be crushing low elo lanes. Uh, just, off of pure, just off of raw mechanics and confidence alone, you should be crushing. And if you're not, if you're failing... Trying to do things that I tell you like push for level two. Push for level two. Immediately level up. Get your shit done. Like go in, play aggressive. Now, when you're on the back foot, waves bigger than yours, pull back. Waves bigger than yours, hide behind your turret. Wait until the wave thins out, then push forward. Don't take those trades. Um, those are the big errors, dude. These are the low elo errors that set you up on this path to get dumpstered. Nothing else. Morgana sucks, yeah, maybe, but even still, you're playing like these people are 
better than you and that's going to cause you to just float, dude. You don't want to float. You don't want to be low elo, stuck there, going into every lane like people are better than you. That's not... And it's okay. If you go into a lane, you push it, you get outplayed, whatever. Shrug that shit off. Do it again next time. And start using just raw... Efficient mechanics like I go into lane, I auto, I cue the I cue the wave, I, I get my shit done, and then I spike that level two and I go in. Because after that point, if you don't do that in low elo, and then some fucking nobody gets fed on Kha'Zix because you didn't take control of the lane fast enough, or your Morgana dies and now you can't be aggressive and take charge of the game, someone else will, dude. Someone else will. Even if every person in the room's bad, someone else will be trying to take charge of the game. That's how you have to go into every game. Like, I I go into every game thinking that I am better. Unless I'm, like, off-rolling and I'm literally trying to just fill a spot so that I let someone else who's good take charge of the game. Then I play like a bitch and I'm like, alright, I'm gonna try to itemize and play just purely to break even here. If I'm playing my main role, fuck that shit. I play like I think that I'm better than everybody. I'll play, you know, any any role. If I'm playing low elo, I play like I'm better than everybody. I act I I push lanes like I think I'm better than everybody. I challenge like I think I'm better than everybody. I do not let the game come to me at this level. No one does. No no high elo players do. No high elo players pick some play passive and low elo we just all unanimously agree that everyone is so bad that we're just gonna push into them and just be cocky and we'll probably win and that's truth which is why when i see you just passively farming level one you're just you're just letting the game come to you you can't do that all right youtube thank you so much for watching this replay i love all you guys going over some gin gameplay um beyond that like dude don't worry about your trap placement and all this shit that you're asking me about don't worry about that shit, dude. Worry about the mechanics, the fundamentals that we're missing. A lot of the times, uh, people want me to dive into like some friggin' super micro shit, and micro isn't why you're losing. It's not. Um, it's it's the deci- It's the confidence. It's the macro shit that you need to fix. All right, guys. YouTube. I love all you guys. I'm out. Peace. Cracks. Thank you. <laughs>